Hi, and welcome to Hikipedia On Location. Today, we are at Wilson's General Store in historic Clear Spring, Maryland. Now, I grew up just a few miles from here, and I got a lot of fond memories of coming down here as a kid. And I must say, it hasn't changed a bit. So let's go on in and meet the owners. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Patty. How are you today? Yeah. Doing good. Hey, would you mind starting us off with a quick tour of your lovely establishment? Certainly. All right. Back here we have some McCutcheon's jellies that we get from Frederick, Maryland, and then we get some seasoned flour. A lot of people around here buy the buckwheat flour, that the brown pancake, but they really like it. Okay, down here we have our old-fashioned candies. Oh yeah, I remember these from when I was a little kid. Man, so tell me a little bit about what you guys have here that uh, you might not find elsewhere. Well, the bit of honey is a big seller. Mm -hmm. Mary Jane. Mary Jane's, oh Carl yeah. Creams, black your black jacks. jacks. The kids like these, the wax bottles, a lot of the people The old wax tell bottles, us I remember these. those. Pop it open, drink it, and then chew the wax. And in the front row, we have our famous gummy worms and the gummy bears. I will definitely agree with you that they are famous. Now, the great thing about these gummy worms and gummy bears is that they don't taste like chemicals. So, what else do we have here? Well, what is your favorite? Well, actually, yes, we'll, we'll get into my favorite now. And uh, I want to test the, the current batch that you have here. These are the peanut butter cups. Mmm. Those are incredible. I think we need to do that take again. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, that was great. You know, tell me a little bit more. What else, what else we have here? Well, we have these chop. They're called chocolate rocks. Chocolate rocks. Let me try one of those. What, what exactly is it? Is it? It's coated chocolate. Mmm. These are amazing. Here, let's get a close-up of these. The children really like them. So I gotta say, this is the first time I've been introduced right? to these things, and I am now a, a fan of chocolate rocks. <laughs> Uh, we also have got the candy cigarettes over here. I remember getting those when I was a little kid. Bubble gum or the candy sticks? We have both. Mm. Remember the bubble gum? Yeah, do, they, do those have the, the kind that you blow on and the little smoke comes out? And the powder comes out. I did not know they still made those. Know, they did. Oh, that's awesome. All right, and what do we have over here? All right. These are the sharp cheeses, and this is what Wilson's store was always known for, their sharp cheese. Would you like to try it? I would love a piece. Wisconsin yellow sharp. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That just crumbles in your mouth. That was really good. And what else do you have here? This is a Frostburg Malpolina. Okay. It comes from up around Frostburg. And this one is a hickory sweet polina that um, we get from Wellsville, VA. Mmm. That's incredible. Now tell me a little bit about the chips that you guys have here. These are these are growing in fame. They're Zerby's chips from Lancaster, and they're the next best thing to Gibbles that now closed down. Yes. We get, a, we get them in big bags and we weigh them out and we bag them ourselves. And, they're really good. If you miss Gibbles, you'll like our chips. All right, what do we have down here? These are our new uh, handmade Crocs. They come okay. from Indiana. A lady makes them. Those are if you look at them, you can see there's no two alike. But she hand makes them, and we can get them personalized. If uh -huh. Patty and I both each had one made for when we got married with the house. Or you can get it just a simple Croc with a small one. Very nice, and they're not terribly expensive no, either. They so are not. If you want to get a, a custom piece, handmade, uh, made in America, exactly, then uh, that would be a that would be an excellent she choice. Does they're a really pretty. Job. Good, good. Now, one of the other things that you guys are well known for is your liniments. Yes. Your your home kind of almost a, a home remedy type thing. Tell me a little bit about those. Exactly. We have several brands, so one of the biggest brands is Watkins, and we have a, we start out with the liniment in a bottle, and now we sell a spray. You just spray it on, and it relieves your pain. We were asked by other customers a while back for the Watkins liniment, and we've just been selling it. We actually have a 
lip balm. There's even a hand lotion from Watkins that we sell. Well, that's good to know. Now, you guys also have a store upstairs, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, what do you say we go up there and take a look around? Great. All right, sounds good. So tell me a little bit about Wilson's history. Wilson's store was built in 1850. Uh, it actually closed in 1974, and then it was bought in 1984 again by another family. Reopened and it's been open since. Now, you also have a store upstairs called Bittersweet Memories, where you sell furniture and antiques and arts and crafts things, right? Well, we're a colonial um, decor. Uh, country. We sell Johnson Benchwork furniture, Lawrence Krauss chairs, and a lot of accents country and some little primitive. We sell a little bit of primitive. Yeah, we stay with the 1800 period with the uh, yeah. portrait pictures and the we sell the coverlets that are um, reproductive from back in the 1800s. A lot of the Civil War reenactors will even come in and purchase those. So tell me about some of the events that y'all have here. Well, we just finished up with having our spring open house and next will be our wagon train. And the wagon train starts at Plum Grove and Clear Spring and then it comes here and that's a big day for us. It stops here for about 45 minutes. Okay. They come from all around because the little ones can pet the horses, get on the wagons. Our one room schoolhouse will be open and we will have some Civil War reenactors out front. Bluegrass music. And bluegrass music. Oh man, that sounds like a great time. And you guys do a lot for seasons. I, I know Yes. my wife and I like <clears> to come down and we like to bring a lot of people with us around Christmas time because you guys do a wonderful job with decorating uh, Christmas and things like that. And so, you know, I want to let our viewers know that, that if, if they're coming through the area, if they're going by Antietam or Gettysburg, because you guys are very conveniently located. You're about 30 minutes from Antietam, uh, probably about 60 minutes from Gettysburg, and I would say about an hour and a half from Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. And for those of our viewers who are too far out of the area to come and visit, you guys can ship, right? Sure, we can do shipping. Um, we do use the flat rate boxes. Um, we request a $25 minimum and just give us a call. If it's something we can ship to you, we'd be more than glad to do it. Great, great. That's a great option. Dude. This is Matt Baker with Hickopedia On Location, inviting you to come and visit Wilson's General Store in historic Clear Spring, Maryland. 